Now section 7 of ISO 9001 is where the rubber hits the road. This is, this is where a whole lot of your production and development happens. And this is the product realisation side of things. Now starting with section 7.1 where it talks about planning of product realisation, it essentially says that you have to have the processes, you have to plan the processes that are going to, to realise your product. Now again, as it, as it was in section 4.1, section 7.1 essentially says you really ought to have a software development method that, or, that is something that's documented or, or has some permanent existence. Uh, your software development method doesn't necessarily have to live in a, in a manual sitting on a shelf, as, as many of them do. Uh, it can be implemented in, for example, your software development environment, your, your um, uh, build files and uh, your workflow system, your ticket management systems, all of these things uh, do constitute some form of documentation. That is some form of external record of how things are done. This is as opposed to, well, um, you know, we've got the senior programmer there and what he says goes. That not a permanent documented uh, quality management system and would not be acceptable anywhere as a quality management system. So that, uh, that covers both section 7.1.1, which uh, talks about the software life cycle for the um, product realization cycle, and 7.1.2, which talks about quality planning. Because the, the quality planning is very much tied up with how you develop your software. And usually uh, you, you have your development activities and your review activities and your test activities. And all of these are part of the software development method. Now this is what ISO 9001 is looking for. How do you develop it? How do you maintain quality? How are you going to, to ensure the quality is there? How are you going to identify a lack of quality? Most of that, if not all of that, is embedded in most software development methods.